Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have planned out a fun makeup tutorial for you guys and it is on this look right here. So today we are gonna be using the new Kylie X and Nightmare on Elm Street collection and I'm actually going to be recreating the look that Kylie did for this campaign. First of all, I love this makeup look. It is very much my vibe. I love a cut crease. I love the colors, but I also really like this collection. I think it's really cute and perfect in time for a spooky season. So I wanted to use it and I figured this would be a great look to try out. We're using pretty much all the Fun colors that I want to use with this palette the burgundies, the reds, the neutrals, a little bit of everything, as well as one of the lip colors from the collection. So if you guys want to follow along, I have all the products listed down below. You can also recreate this look with another palette if you don't have this one. Or let's say you want to do a completely different color scheme. You can do browns, you can do teals, whatever color you're in the mood for. At the end of the day, I just want you guys to enjoy it, to learn something new, and follow along if you want. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. How excited are you guys for today's tutorial? I am thrilled. Ever since I saw this makeup look, I knew I had to recreate it, and I'm really excited that the time has finally come. So, as you guys can see, I've already added some base onto my eyelid, and today I just used my good old Shape Tape from Tarte in the shade Light Medium Sand. I've been loving using this as a base lately versus an actual eyeshadow base. I just like the consistency of this. Picks up colors nice, it blends, and then it really just evens everything out. So now that we got the base on, let's go ahead and jump into the eyes. I'm so excited. As you guys know, I'm gonna be using the new Kylie A Nightmare on M Street collection, which is pretty rad if you guys ask me. Like, I love the whole visual to this. I think it's super cool. It comes with an eyeshadow palette, three lip lacquers, which if you guys don't know what that is, lip lacquers are pretty much like a medium to full coverage lipstick with a gloss. It's in kind of a gloss form, so it's not going to be a matte. It's not gonna be like a velvet finish. It's just a really pigmented gloss is the best way to explain it. And then there's lashes, and then this lip and cheek jelly stain, which I don't know if I'm gonna use that, but we will see as we get into the look. But for now, let's go ahead and jump right into the eyeshadow palette. The first thing I'm gonna do is go in with Alive But Dead. This is the transition color we're gonna be adding to the crease, and this color is a must. If you do not add this, the main color, that red berry color, is going to turn purple. So it's important that you add a brown in the crease. And now we're gonna move into one of the most exciting colors in this collection, which is Dream Demon. It is this gorgeous burgundy, and the reason why I wear burgundy today. So for this part, we're gonna be using this small brush and creating the crease with it. This is gonna really help to map it out for me, and I'm not too worried if there's fallout or if it's not perfect on the bottom portion. As long as I map it out, that's all I really need because we are gonna be doing a crease cleanup, so don't worry. Just make sure that you map it out so that it's easy when you go with the brush to blend it out So now I'm gonna go in with this small brush. I'm gonna take it right where I added that color and you can see I am just Wiggling the brush on that line and lightly working up Now when I get to the crease I am gonna flip the brush to the side and then lightly work it up So now that we got that part down, we're gonna go ahead and cut the crease, going back in with shape tape. And I am just tapping and lightly working my way up. This is where it gets real, real serious because we wanna make sure we continue this flow. If you go too high or too low, it's going to mess up that crease. So at the very end of the eye, this is where it's important that you don't go too high or too low. So I'm stamping it as close as I can. This is all really about mimicking it to your eye shape. So everyone's eye shape's different. Kylie's eye shape's different than mine, so is yours. So just go with the flow that looks natural to your eye shape. So now we're gonna go back in with that color Dream Demon and we are gonna just connect this end to the top to create a wing. Just the same way you would do the tail of your wing liner, we're gonna do that with the eyeshadow. Towards the end, I did wet my brush a little bit with setting spray, but you can see I'm just connecting it to the very tail of the eyeshadow and boom, wow. I'm a little obsessed. So now we're gonna move into adding the next two shades that go on the lid. Based on the photo, it looks like there's three colors on the lid. There's kind of like a metallic, then there's a red, and then there's kind of like a beige. So I'm gonna start off by adding the color Face Your Fears, which is the matte one. And I'm gonna place this only at the very front of my eye. So next I'm gonna go in with the color Elm Street, and this is gonna be the metallic shade. This is gonna go in the center, but also towards the front. And based on the photo, it looks like it has a soft application. So I'm gonna switch my brush so instead of going in with a flat brush that is gonna give it more of like a pressed intense look I'm gonna go in with a flat fluffy one so it's a softer application tap in the center and then towards the front I'm letting this kind of melt into the first shade as well 
everyone needs a setting spray it's the continuous setting mist from morphe you guys probably know this is amazing but this is a sour patch flavor scent not flavor because you can't taste it but you can smell it and it smells just like a sour patch kid spray a little bit of setting spray again i pick up that color elm street one more time and then just go once again now this is going to bond those particles together so that they're not flying everywhere and then now i'm going to go in with the shade come to freddy so this shade has a little bit of a different placement it's going right on the lid a bit more towards the lash line i'm also going to pick up a little bit of dream demon again and then go over come to freddy to add a little bit more depth to the shade since the color come to freddy has a little bit more of a red undertone adding a tiny bit of the dream demon over it is going to give you that perfect burgundy metallic shade now let's get the next eye done let's hope i can make it look the same go ahead and roll music and let it play I think we did it. This is one of those looks that I feel like if you're not patient with it, it can go south for sure. Gonna go back in with Face Your Fears and place this just on the inner corner of the eye. Elm Street, gonna go ahead and pop that right into the lid. And then I'm gonna grab Come to Freddy, which is that red shade. And lastly, I'm gonna go in with Dream Demon and place it right over this area to make it a little deeper. Let's go ahead and get into my eyelashes. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. This is the very, very famous TikTok mascara, everyone went crazy for last year. Personally, I like this mascara. You get lots of definition and length with this one. You're gonna really take your time with mascara. I mean, I'm gonna put lashes on anyways, but still, you wanna make sure they look good underneath. So in the collection, they also launched these really, really cute lashes, but I'm gonna be very honest with you guys, they are a little too small for my eyes. Believe it or not, this is probably shorter than my actual eyelash. Like I'm, I'm, let's look at the size guys. I'm not being dramatic. My lashes are really big. It takes a certain lash for it to really stand out. So I'm gonna avoid putting these on. I'm gonna pop on another pair though. So instead, I'm gonna be using these from Birdie Lashes. These are in the style Seductive. To complete the eyes, at least on top, we're gonna go ahead and get these brows in because they have been looking really, really bad lately. I forgot what I was even saying. Okay, I am just now taking in the benefits, precisely my brow brow pencil to fill in these brows. As you guys saw, they are horrendous right now, but they have just been going through it. They have a lot of like gaps and they just need a lot of maintenance and a lot of work right now. I also have these ingrown hairs going up here that is all thanks to this little guy. This is my favorite to use to clean up hairs on the side right here or any kind of peach fuzz. But the other day, I decided to use it up here and ended up giving myself ingrown hairs. So all those little like dots you guys see and kind of like textured areas are ingrowns from this. So be careful if you guys use that because it can happen, especially in an area where you have thicker hair. So now I'm gonna go in with my brow palmade from Benefit in the shade 4.5. And I'm going to take this towards the front of the eye and I'm trying to mimic the appearance of real hair. Go a little bit outside of my actual brow hair, like on the skin, to mimic that hair. Last thing I'm gonna do on these brows to make them look amazing is a brow cleanup. So I have a little bit of shape tape on this small defining brush, and I'm gonna do the lightest cleanup. This is able to give you like a really nice cleaned up brow without it looking too harsh. Then you're gonna get a clean brush, almost kind of push that color back in. I'm also taking the concealer a little bit above the brow as well. This is gonna cover up those little pimples and areas that just need to clean up. So next I'm gonna get in on my complexion, but I'm gonna be doing this part off camera. If you guys are interested in the products that I use, I will have them listed down below. And then I'm also gonna have other videos listed down below that show you my current complexion routine. So I will be back in three, two, one. I am back and I'm going to finish off these lower lashes with two of the shadows, mixing Alive But Dead and Dream Demon together. I'm gonna go in with the Cinderella blush from the Sigma palette. Add a little bit of this to the high points of my cheeks. Instead of taking it right on the apples, I'm taking it a little higher and bringing it up and also taking it into the forehead area. Just kind of want this whole area to be nice and rosy. 
So in the photo, she doesn't seem to have any kind of dark eyeliner in the waterline. It looks like they just left it bare or maybe even added a nude eyeliner. So I'm gonna go in with a nude eyeliner to make this area really pop. This one's from KVD and it is called Swanly. It's actually one of my favorite eyeliner formulas. It's so long lasting. And lastly, I'm gonna go in with that Maybelline mascara and add it to my lash line. So I like to wiggle this as close as I can to the root and then lightly brush it down. I really love this mascara for lower lashes because the bottom ones, I don't want them so thick and full. I want them separated and defined. And the wand on this just adds the perfect amount, combs through them nicely, and it doesn't get clumpy, which is what I really like. I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight using the new MAC Rosalia Highlighting Palette. This is giving me very extreme, expensive couture vibes. So I'm gonna use this bottom shade right here. Mm -mm -mm. I need a very, very, very small amount. I don't want too much highlight. Last thing we're gonna do is get into the lip products for today. We're gonna be using two different lip liners and the lip color. Can't really tell what kind of lip liner she has on. It looks like it's a blend of mauve and brown, but because the lip color is pretty light, I'm gonna be mixing two of those shades. So I'm gonna start off first with MAC Half Red Lip Pencil. As you can see, this is kind of like a brownish, reddish, purplish shade. It's a little different, but this works great for any kind of pink tone, mauve lip colors. I used to use this lip liner so much back when I wore a lot of mauve lip colors. So I'm gonna line my entire lip with this, and then now I'm gonna go in with Cork. You guys already know, this is my Holy Grail Lip Pencil. This color goes good with anything and in this case I'm gonna be adding it for depth now I'm gonna go in with the lip lacquer in the shade only a dream before we leave I gotta get a close-up because this combo is fire I want to recreate this with browns now and greens and all different colors because I love it but anyways I really hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup tutorial if you guys did be sure to let me know with that being said guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video bye